Hello everyone, it's Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars, and today I'm extremely excited to be doing a driving video in one of my top 10 favorite vehicles of all time, this absolutely stunning 1937 Chevrolet Business Coupe, nicknamed the Killer Hot Rod. Um, as I stated in the previous video, which I highly suggest you watch if you had not watched it, um, this vehicle is not only a amazing looking vehicle, but it drives and performs like we the people. It is absolutely awesome. We are gonna do uh, a complete driving video today. I thought rather than doing a video where we show the car rolling and then do all these cool cuts and everything else, we've already done that in our previous video. Today, the point of this here would be just to drive it and to show you how user-friendly it is. So I have not started this vehicle in probably two weeks because we did our video uh, preparation earlier on when we first listed it. Um, so this is a very cold start. Uh, so just to pretend you're me, you're in this vehicle today, you want to take it out and enjoy it. Um, and this is how it works. So turn the key. Again, that's a cold start. It starts within five seconds when it's cold. It goes right to high idle. And you'll notice that it starts to come right down and she's already purring like a kitten. Keep in mind, this vehicle has 636 horsepower. It runs absolutely beautiful. So there's your cold start. Uh, you can see here how beautiful this interior cabin is. All of the gauges are in working order. Fuel gauge, it's got great oil pressure, the speedometer, which indicates the mileage. Obviously the temperature will come up as we're driving. It's got plenty of volts. You can see the tachometers working. The directionals over here work perfectly as well. We got the horn. Again, this is a very functional vehicle. Your, your wipers work, all your lights work. Inside the glove box here, you got this beautiful display. That's the radio that works awesome. And this is all your air conditioning, which blows ice, ice cold. Again, absolutely stunning. I'm gonna give it another uh, 15 seconds or so to warm up, and then we're gonna take off. I'm gonna focus most of this video on driving the vehicle and not talk during the presentation too much. Uh, but right now, again, I'm six foot, 200 pounds. I have plenty of room in this seat. You can see where my knees are in relation to the cabin. I got so much room in here, headroom, leg room, arm room. It's just so, so comfortable. All right, so let's rock and roll. And I am gonna mention, this is only the second time I've ever driven this vehicle, okay? This is not a vehicle that I'm used to. It's not like I've driven this, you know, 50 times or have owned it for 10 years or whatever. This is something that is truly a new piece for me. I've only driven it once. I just wanted to show how awesome it operates. The clutch is super easy to use. I got it right in gear. It's so nice. Here we go. And this is cold. As the temperature gauge is starting to creep up a little bit, I don't want to get on it too much why it's cold for obvious reasons. But look at how nice this thing is already smoothing out. If I had an opportunity to keep 10 vehicles over my career, this would be one that I would keep. I've had over 750 vehicles in my collection that are all documented on the website sold page. For me to say this is a top 10 favorite is a really big deal. Here we go. This vehicle does not sit on air ride. It sits like this all the time. No monkeying around with any suspension. Listen to this thing. It shifts so smooth. Look at the steering wheel. And this is one of the worst roads in Seekonk. This has got a crown in it with a ton of bumps potholes and so forth. Look at how beautiful this thing is riding. Temperature starting to get higher. Again, I'm not going to get on it until it gets warmer. I'm just trying to take it easy for a minute. Listen to this thing run. Look at, hands off the steering wheel. Look at this. It's so straight at 45 miles an hour. Listen to that sound. I was driving 
driving a brand new vehicle. No word of a lie. That's how I feel behind the wheel of this vehicle. No rattles, no squeaks, no tires rubbing, no vibrations. For all you classic car guys out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Some vehicles were made to look good and not drive. Some vehicles were made to look bad and drive well. This vehicle has a combination of both. Great looks and great drivability. Listen to how it downshifts. Time to have a little fun. She boogies. Shifting it on the fly, no problem at all. Perfect little scene here behind these uh, motorcycles. See if these guys want to play a little bit with the 37. Killer hot rod. Look at this. Brakes really well. So calm, tame mannered for such a powerful engine. Go ahead. There we go.
whoever buys this 37 is going to call me their new best friend. We've owned some of the best custom cars from some of the best custom builders. And I'll put this vehicle right at the top. Notice there's been no signs of any noises from the suspension, the tires. This baby's got 18-inch wheels in the front, 20-inch wheels in the back. You would never know it. So that was a little unexpected, but we figured until we get out of this traffic, we should show you how well this vehicle performs in the heat and bumper to bumper traffic. It's at 220, which is about where an LS will go to. So it's perfect. It's not exceeding that. Sometimes the proof is in the pudding. Look at this thing, bumper to bumper traffic. Hot day and she's purring like a kitten. We don't want to bore you in this traffic, so we'll fade back in when we break out of it and go over the Bragger Bridge, okay? Thank you. All right, well, we decided not to uh, go over the Bragger Bridge, unfortunately. I thought that'd be pretty cool, but obviously with this bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic. But talk about timing a true test to this 37 rod stuck in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic for 30 minutes. Look at the temperature. Still at 220. I'm so impressed with how this just handled that traffic in this heat. It runs so good. We're gonna take a little bit of a different way back to the dealership here. Unfortunately, uh, some of this might be boring. Not what we originally uh, intended on doing, but it's still cool to show you how she, how she operates. Start. 
here. Going about 70 miles an hour. Somewhere around 2,600, 2,700 RPMs. This cruise is right along. And even at this speed, it still feels really, really tight. This road is full of imperfections and divvies and so forth. said to Corey was we're getting kind of close to the dealership about a mile or so here I figured I would let everybody uh, see us get on it one more time before we do this video I can't end it on the highway going 70 80 miles an hour so once again we're uh, in traffic here at this red light we've been driving it for about a half hour or so 45 minutes it's been keeping great temperature great control look at look at where the rpm gauge is fuel gauge Everything's great. Like I said in uh, my first video that we did, you can take this thing out and do whatever you want in it. If you want to go to the car show, take it to work, go on a trip, it literally is that comfortable. And Corey just said to me, surprisingly, he can't believe how comfortable the seats are. That's a fact. The seats are actually really nice. Once again, 